Now that we have already covered purine synthesis and purine degradation, today our topic is going to be disorders which are associated with purine metabolism. आपको याद है मैंने जब metabolism of nucleotides start किया था, तो at the very outset I told you कि we will talk about purines and we will talk about pyrimidines. और इन दोनों nucleotides से related, we will talk about their synthesis, we will talk also about their degradation and then the last thing which we have to discuss is the disorders. Associated with both of them. So technically, we have done purine ka synthesis, purine ka degradation, and now today video uh, we are going to discuss about disorders which are associated with purine metabolism. So the first thing is, अच्छा एक पूरे biochemistry का general principle है और उसको इसी तरह से आपको समझना और understand करना चाहिए कि whenever in biochemistry you understand the pathways कि ये चीज है उससे ये चीज बनेगी उससे ये चीज बनेगी उससे ये when you understand the sequence of events and the enzymes associated with them. Then the only thing is to understand that if this enzyme will be blocked, then this product will not be made, and the next product will increase. If this enzyme will be blocked, then this product will not be made, and the next product will increase. So that sort of thing is pretty easy. So that sort of thing is pretty easy. अच्छा फिर जो प्रोडक्ट बढ़ेगा उससे एसोसिएटेड कोई ना कोई साइंस और सिम्टम्स होंगे ये कॉन्सेप्ट अगर आपको जनरलाइज कॉन्सेप्ट पता है देन यू कैन क्रैक दी डिसऑर्डर्स विच आर ऑल लिस्टेड इन बायोकेमिस्ट्री बट इसके लिए ये इंपॉर्टेंट है कि आपको पाथवेज पता हो और आपको ये पता हो कि कौन से इंजाइम्स उन पाथवेज में क्या प्रोडक्ट्स बनाते हैं और किन प्रोडक्ट्स से बनाते हैं राइट सो द फर्स्ट डिसऑर्डर दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट्स वेरी कॉमन इट्स नॉन एज हाइपर यूरिसीमिया and gout. Uric acid is the end product of purine metabolism in humans. And now you know this because we have done the uh, purine metabolism. The normal concentration of uric acid in the serums of adult is in the range of 3 to 7 mg per deciliter. In women, it is slightly lower, about 1 mg. So, thoda sa kam hota. Then in men, the daily excretion of uric acid is about 500 to... So, these are the values if you want to remember. But the crux of this paragraph is the fact that uh, uric acid, purine... मेटाबॉलिज्म का एंड प्रोडक्ट है ह्यूमंस में, ओके? हाइपर यूरिसीमिया ऑब्वियसली मींस द एलिवेशन इन द सीरम यूरिक एसिड कंसेंट्रेशन एंड दिस इज समटाइम्स एसोसिएटेड विद इंक्रीज्ड यूरिक एसिड एक्सप्रेशन आल्सो इन द यूरिन Obviously, if this is the person, and if in the blood the uric acid levels are high, uh, kidneys will try to excrete more uh, uric acid in the urine, which is what we call the uricosuria. Okay. Now, gout kya cheez hai? Gout is a metabolic disease associated with overproduction of uric acid. So, when you have more uric acid in the blood, there are symptoms in the joints and we'll see what are those symptoms, uh, which are collectively then known as gout. At the physiological pH, which is your normal pH of the body, uric acid is found in a more soluble form as sodium urate. In severe hyperuricemia, crystals of sodium urate get deposited in the soft tissues. Now, all this should make sense to you. If you have more uric acid in the blood, you have more uh, sodium urate crystals and they will start depositing wherever they can. And such deposits are known as tophi formations. Okay, This uh, causes inflammation in the joints if they are deposited in the joints, for example, and this will lead to arthritis. Sodium urate ke jo crystals hai, they may also precipitate in kidney and ureters and there they can lead to stone formation as well as renal damage because now imagine this is the place from where the uric acid is usually excreted so yahan par uric acid jab body mein zyada hoga to load zyada hoga and stones can be formed here historically gout was found to be often associated with high level of overeating or alcohol consumption in the previous centuries alcohol was contaminated with lead during its manufacture and storage, lead poisoning leads to kidney damage and decreased uric acid excretion, leading to hyperuricemia and gout. So all should make sense. Prane zamane mein lead poisoning alcohol mein common phenomena tha. Ab vese process kar liya jata hai. I'm not saying that now alcohol is safe to use, okay? Please don't misunderstand me. In general, vese ek yahan pe mazhe ki baat karu. Mazhe ki baat ye hai, ke kaafi sari societies mein obviously, Alcohol consumption is a normal social type of thing. इसीलिए अगर आप clinical medicine के books उठा के देखें, so they have given a specific range of alcohol units to be consumed by male and female and pregnant female per week. वो कहते हैं इतना अगर आप use कर लें, तो it's perhaps okay. Although अगर आप वैसे मुझसे पूछें, being a doctor, so alcohol is a no, no, बिल्कुल use नहीं करनी चाहिए. Smoking is a no, no, बिल्कुल नहीं smoke करना चाहिए. In whatever form. 
in cigarette form or aajkal vape bahut zyada famous hua hua so even that okay so that's a big no no but bas society mein itna common social practice hai ki unhone ek particular range lower limit alcohol ke units ki consumption ko allow kar rakha hai so that doesn't mean ke it's a good thing they are just trying to restrict people ke bhai isse zyada kam se kam mat piye peeni to aap mein waise hai kam se kam itni piye ki jitni hum recommend kar rahe hain usse zyada na piye theek hai anyways in general a diet rich in meat गोश्त जो लोग बहुत ज्यादा खाते हैं सी फूड्स इज ऑल्सो एसोसिएटेड विद हाई लेवल्स ऑफ यू नो यूरिक एसिड मेटाबॉलिज्म एंड प्रोडक्ट व्हिच इज देन अल्टीमेटली दी यूरेट क्रिस्टल्स एंड गाउट का रिस्क बढ़ जाता है सो जो लोग गोश्त बहुत ज्यादा खाते हैं रेड मीट पर्टिकुलरली आप चाहे वो बीफ हो या मटन हो ऑल्सो द सी फूड्स द कंटेन यू नो इसमें मसल कॉन्टेंट होता है प्रोटीन कॉन्टेंट है जाहिर है उसमें बहुत सारे न्यूक्लोटाइड्स होंगे प्यूरिन होगा बहुत सारा वो प्यूरिन मेटाबोलाइज होगा और यूरिक एसिड बनेगा यूरिक एसिड क्रिस्टल्स बनेंगे एंड दोज क्रिस्टल्स विल बी डिपॉजिटेड ओके सो जब हम ट्रीट कर रहे होते हैं गाउट के पेशेंट्स को सो वी आस दैम टू रिड्यूस देयर मीट कॉन्टेंट इन द डाइट alcohol content in their daily routine now the prevalence of gout is about 3 per 1000 so that's pretty common i would say mostly affecting the males post menopausal women however uh, are susceptible as men for the disease so post menopausal women are equally as susceptible as female so some uh, the reproductive age ki jo females hain somehow estrogen is protecting them okay ab gout ki do primary categories hain pehla kehlata hai primary gout and the other one is uh, then known as obviously the secondary gout now primary gout is an inborn error of metabolism due to over production of uric acid so jo metabolic pathway hai purine ka usme there will be somewhere something wrong aur uski wajah se uric acid zyada banega this is mostly related to increased synthesis of purine nucleotides the following are few examples so for example prpp synthetase in normal circumstances prpp synthetase is under feedback control of purine nucleotide so agar body mein zyada amount mein adp aur gdp maujood hai so prp uh, PP synthetase uh, block होता है हाउ एवर वेरियंट फॉर्म अगर इसमें कोई म्यूटेशन है जीन में सो दर इज अ वेरियंट प्रोटीन विच आर नॉट सब्जेक्टेड टू फीडबैक रेगुलेशन एंड दिस लीज टू कंटिन्यूस प्रोडक्शन ऑफ प्यूरिन सो द पॉइंट इज यू नो दैट देर वॉज राइबोज फॉस्पेट एंड फ्रॉम राइबोज फॉस्पेट पी आर पी सिंथेटेज और ये रिएक्शन पूरा आगे चलता था इनोसिन मोनोफॉस्पेट और फिर प्यूरिन बनते थे सो दिस वॉज अंडर द कंट्रोल ऑफ यू नो दी ए डी पी एंड जी डी पी Uh, these were the uh, purine bases jo hum discuss kar rahe the purine nucleotides ke jo ultimate end product pure synthesis pathway ke the they were adenosine and guanosine agar inke amounts body mein considerable कॉन्सेंट्रेशन में है तो ये पी आर पी सिंथेटिस ब्लॉक हो जाता था तो बाद में ब्लॉक एंड इट मेक सेंस कि भाई हम ऑलरेडी अच्छे अमाउंट में हैं आपको मजीद काम करने की जरूरत नहीं है डू नॉट प्लीज वर्क फर्दर तो आगे मत पढ़ें वहीं रुक जाएं लेकिन अगर इस पर्टिकुलर इंजाइम ये इंजाइम प्रोटीन है ना सो ये प्रोटीन किसी ना किसी जीन से कोड होगा अगर उस जीन के अंदर कोई म्यूटेशन है और अब फीडबैक इस पर काम ही नहीं कर रहा so if it's not working there then that would simply mean ke more and more of purine nucleotides will be formed if more and more and more of them are formed then more and more of them are metabolized and uh, you get more and more uric acid okay then another uh, variant is prpp glutamyl amidotransferase is the lack of the feedback control again the same thing enzyme is different lekin ye bhi under negative feedback control hota hai lekin if there is a variant of this enzyme the feedback doesn't work and it continues to produce more and more purines then another variant of uh, the primary gout is agprt deficiency now this is an enzyme of purine salvage pathway and its defect causes leach nehan syndrome this disorder is associated with increased synthesis of purine nucleotides by two fold mechanism pehla decreased utilization of the protein by salvage pathway resulting in accumulation of the diversion of prpp for purine nucleotides so if that for one particular pathway doesn't work it feeds into the other pathway and the secondly the defect in the salvage pathway leads to decreased level of imp and gmp causing more and more uh, feedback uh, to produce more purines and uric acid ultimately so ab ye agar aapko salvage pathway nahi samajh aa raha meri pichli video aapne dekh liya bolenge yaar dr asif to tezi se aage badh gaya isse but we have discussed that okay now glucose 6 phosphatase deficiency in type 1 glycogen storage disease glucose 6 phosphate cannot be converted to glucose due to the deficiency of this particular enzyme and this leads 
to um, an important phenomena which is increased utilization of glucose 6 phosphate by HMP shunt. HMP shunt agar activate ho jayega, there will be more and more uh, ribose 5 phosphate. And those of you who have been following me on nucleotide metabolism, they should recognize that agar ribose 5 phosphate badhega, to ribose phosphate was the initial compound for purine synthesis if you have more ribose phosphate purine synthesis ko par lag jayenge it will be accelerated and if it is accelerated you know more purine formation more uric acid formation okay von Gierke's disease is also associated with increased activity of glycolysis due to this lactic acid accumulates in the body which interferes with uric acid excretion through the renal tubule so if you can't excrete it you build it up in the body Elevation of glutathione reductase, that is another variant, increased glutathione reductase generates more NADP+, which is utilized by the HMP shunt. So more HMP shunt activity means more uh, production of ribose 5-phosphate. And this increases and, you know, this is the prerequisite compound for purine metabolism. So if this increases, more and more purine is synthesized, okay? Amongst the five enzymes, there are five enzyme deficiencies. I have told you. In five, one thing is common. And at the end of the day, there is more increased uh, purine formation. Um, in five, me say the first three are directly involved in purine synthesis, and the other ones are here and there involved. So, for example, they are involved by a HMP shunt pathway. They are involved by a glycolytic pathway. Okay. But in sub, me primarily purine synthesis is being done, and this type of uh, gout is known as primary gout. Just me purine synthesis is being done because of errors of metabolism in the enzymes, and uh, that is inherent. This is primary, but then there is a secondary gout variant. Just may uh, there is hyperuricemia due to various diseases which causes synthesis of uh, or decrease excretion of uric acid. So yeah, enzymes take calm kar rahe. Aapki body ki jo de novo synthesis hai, wo take calm kar rahi hai. But there are some other factors, okay? Or bahut sare aise diseases hai. For example, cancers may. For example, psoriasis may. There is increased cellular turnover. When there is increased cellular turnover then uh, more and more cells degrade you get more and more protein you get more and more uric acid okay so that's what is the, uh, the general stuff that you need to remember about gout primary and secondary uh, different causes now uric acid pool in the gout by administration of uric acid isotope the miscible uric acid pool can be calculated we can actually calculate this okay so that's not a big deal it's a laboratory thing you can actually calculate it by using various techniques including the use of isotopic uric acid how do we treat gout? The drug of the choice for treatment is allopurinol, the famous drug. This is a structural analog of hypoxanthine that competitively inhibits xanthine oxidase. Now, you should be able to decipher that if xanthine oxidase inhibit hoga, to kya hoga. Further, allopurinol is oxidized to alloxanthine by xanthine oxidase. Alloxanthine, in turn, is a more effective inhibitor of xanthine oxidase so ultimately you are inhibiting xanthine oxidase okay and uh, that is suicide inhibition so yeah in pharmacology is the detail inhibition of xanthine oxidase by allopurinol leads to accumulation of hyposanthine and xanthine now these two compounds are more soluble than uric acid and therefore the problems which were caused by insolubility of the uric acid by formation of the crystals they just go away because now you have uh, transformed something which was insoluble into something which is soluble. Okay. Now, besides the drug therapy, restriction in dietary intakes of purines and alcohol is advised and uh, consumption of more water so that it can be extracted out of the body and reduction in usage of meat. Okay. Uh, we also use anti-inflammatory drug such as colchicine, which is used for painful joints and that is routinely used. Some other drugs are also used, but we will talk about them in more detail when we do pharmacology. Now, pseudogout is a condition which uh, is very similar to gout, but the disorder is caused by deposition of calcium pyrophosphate not urate crystals okay so that's different and therefore it is called pseudogout it looks like gout but it's different leech nehan pe hum baat karte rahe hain it is due to deficiency of agprd which is an enzyme very important enzyme for purine salvage pathway it was first described way long ago in 1964 um uh, Jo student or teacher ki jodi thi, Leech Nehan, inho ne pehli dafa hai. Ye ek banda nahi hai, by the way, Leech Nehan do alag alag loge, okay? The syndrome is in uh, sex link 
metabolic disorder since the structural gene for a GPRT or liquid on X chromosome. So it is located on X, therefore it is a sex-linked uh, disease. It affects only males, X chromosome, and is, uh, well, um, it's not because of the X chromosome, so pardon me for that, because X uh, you get in females as well. So don't mistake me, that if X is associated with females, it should be more males, it should be less males, but that doesn't work like this. Uh, watch my genetics videos. And it is characterized by excessive uric acid production. And there are also neurological abnormalities. The overproduction of uric acid in leech ne hand uh, is actually very well explained. What happens is that when HGPRT ki deficiency hoti hai, it results in the accumulation of PRPP and decreases the GMP and IMP level. So there is like a big boom on the enzymes so that the production of purines is just accelerated. You have low GMP and IMP, the cells feel like ke bhai aur kaam karna hai, aur kaam karna hai, aur purines hai, and that's what happens. The biochemical basis for neurological symptoms observed in Lijni Han is clearly uh, not understood. This may be related to dependence, so it's not clear, so we don't worry about it. Immunodeficiency disease associated with purine metabolism. So, up we have been talking about that when purines ki metabolism is not a good thing, there is no enzyme deficiency, so there will be increased levels of purines, including the level of uric acid, increased urate crystals. Uh, gout hoga, so that is one thing that you need to remember. Gout ki primary gout ki causes and secondary gout ki causes. Then you need to know what is pseudo gout, treatment for gout. Remember two drugs, allopurinol and colchicine, leech nehan, AGPRT deficiency. And now we are talking about some immunodeficiency stuff. Two different immunodeficiency disorders associated with degradation of protein nucleosides are identified. Number one, just may there is adenosine deaminase deficiency, and number two, then there is purine nucleoside and both of them are involved in uric acid synthesis. The deficiency of ADA causes SCID, which is severe combined immunodeficiency syndrome involving T cells and also B cells, which are not functioning normal anymore. And therefore the person born with this has severe combined, combined with there is a, uh, you know, cellular and humoral, both immunity disturbed. It is explained that ADA deficiency results in accumulation of deoxy ATP, uh, which is an inhibitor for ribonucleotide reductase and therefore DNA synthesis and cell replication are inhibited as well. So that's an important one guys. I mean uh, uh, it's always important to correlate the basic subjects with clinical stuff otherwise it doesn't make sense. The deficiency of period nucleotide phosphorylase is associated with impairment of T cell function but no effect on B cells. So it's not a severe disease but only T cells are affected. Okay. So these two immunological correlations you must also remember. This is all you have to understand when you have seen my last videos. Purine metabolism, mein, purine synthesis kaise ho rahi hai, or purine degradation. Kaise ho rahi hai. If you haven't watched those videos, perhaps the disorders will not be understood because you don't understand. HGPIT is where it is. You don't understand salvage pathway, kya hai, de novo synthesis. Kya hai. Ye sare words may use kar rahun, but please watch the earlier videos do videos hain chodi chodi si unko dekh lo phir is video par aao to baat achhi samajh mein aayi okay chalo apna khayal rakhna yaar share karo isko ab phir next video mein start karunga uh, uh, pyrimidine ke baare mein theek hai ye heading maine intentionally chhod diye because that's a rare uh, scenario decrease uric acid levels hypouricemia okay that is mostly associated with a rare rare genetic defect in enzyme xanthine oxidase was very very rare okay so all the best Keep sharing the video, keep liking the videos here. Or uh, uh, Dr. Asif lectures mein aapko pata hai ki humara aim hai ki saari jo books hai medicine mein usko hum line by line aap tak pohuncha dein, aapko samjha dein, okay? Much more to come. We are soon going to start USMLE preparations as well. So stay tuned, keep watching Dr. Asif lectures. My name is Professor Asif Qureshi.